Hi all, welcome to Math Easy. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Pythagorean theorem. What is a Pythagorean theorem? Pythagorean theorem tells us about the relation between three sides of a right angle. Pythagorean theorem tells us about the relation between three sides of a right angle. Consider this right angle. By the way, let me introduce you to few vocabularies of the right angle, right? This side and this side of the triangles are called leg. These two sides are called leg. And you know the small box, this is the right angle that is 90 degree and the longest side that is called the hypotenuse. The longest side is called the hypotenuse. And one more thing, you see this 90 degree right angle, the small box, always in the right triangle, the side opposite to this right angle is going to be the longest side and that is going to be the hypotenuse. I will tell you once again, these two sides are called the legs and this is the 90 degree right angle. Always the side opposite to the 90 degree right angle is going to be the longest side and the longest side is called the hypotenuse. So, these are the, the major vocabularies you should know in right angle. Okay. Now consider the right angle in another form. Suppose you are going to draw a right angle like this. Then which is the hypotenuse and which are the legs? Definitely you know the side which makes the small box that is going to be the 90 degree right angle. Okay, this is going to be the 90 degree right angle. These two sides are going to be the legs of the right angle triangle and the side opposite to this 90 degree that is the longest side that side is going to be the hypotenuse in this type of right angle. Now consider another type of right angle. Suppose you are going to draw the right angle upside down. Okay, you are going to draw the right angle upside down. You know this small box this is going to be 90 degree of course. So which is the hypotenuse now? The side opposite to the 90 degree, the longest side, this is going to be the hypotenuse and these two sides are going to be the leg. Hope you have now understood clearly about the hypotenuse. So once you are fine with the hypotenuse, now let us go into the Pythagorean theorem formula. According to Pythagorean theorem, suppose consider this right angled triangle. You know this is the 90 degree. According to Pythagorean theorem, the square of sum of two sides is going to be equal to the squares of the hypotenuse. What do you mean by that? Consider this side as A and this side as B. You are just giving the notation for the two legs. This is A and this is B. And the hypotenuse, let us uh, name it as C. This hypotenuse, let us give the letter C for that. So, according to Pythagorean formula, C square, that is hypotenuse square equal to A square plus B square, where this A and B are called the leg and the C, it is called the hypotenuse. So, this is the formula for the Pythagorean theorem. The formula for the Pythagorean theorem is hypotenuse square equal to leg square, two leg square, so a square plus b square. So, this is the formula for the Pythagorean theorem. c square equal to a square plus b square. Now, let us see more examples to understand this Pythagorean formula. Right. 
consider this a right angled triangle and you are given the measures of two legs consider like that suppose this side is eight this side is six and you are asked to find the hypotenuse how are you going to calculate it you know according to pythagorean theorem c square equal to a square plus b square right and you know this one side this is side notated as a and the notation for this is b and we don't know what is c hypotenuse so the answer is going to be c square equal to what is a a is equal to 8 so you are writing 8 square plus what is b it is going to be 6 so 6 square which is equal to 8 square means 8 times 8 which is 64 plus what is 6 square 6 times 6 multiplying 6 2 times which is equal to 36 that is going to be equal to 100 64 plus 36 is 100 so what you got now c square is equal to 100 but what we need not c square what we need is c what is c c equal to root of 100 which is equal to 10 what is root of 100 it's going to be 10 if you want more details about the square root, I have already uploaded a video and have provided link in the below description. I would recommend you to check it out if you are not sure how to do the square roots. Now let us continue here. So C is going to be root of 100 which is equal to 10. So the hypotenuse, the C is going to be equal to 10. That is how you find the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean formula. Now consider the case where you are given the hypotenuse measure and measure of one side and you are asked to find the other side. For example, we are not given the value of A, you guess like that and we are given the hypotenuse as uh, say 8 and this side as say 6, one side as 6. Now you are asked to find the other side. How will you do it? You know according to Pythagorean formula, C square is equal to A square plus B square. Okay, now substitute the values. You know this side is A, this side is B, hypotenuse is written as C. So, what is C square? 8 square is equal to, we are not sure of the value of A, but we know the value of B. Of course, we know. So, what is 8 square? You know, 8 times 8. 8 square means 8 times 8, multiplying 8, 2 times. So, 8 square is going to be 64. That is equal to, we are not having the value of A, but we have value of B as 6 square. So, 6 times 6. 6 square means 6 times 6, multiplying 6, 2 times that is 36 now what is a square a square is equal to you very well know this is 64 a square 36 is with is on this side so according to integer operation and the positive 36 comes this side it's going to be negative so a square is going to be 64 minus 36 simply here 64 is there you are subtracting to find the a square when the addition side sign comes after the equal to sign it's going to be negative according to integer operation so i'm simply going to subtract this and 64 minus 36 is going to be 28 now how will you find a this is a square this 28 is not the hypo, uh, not one side right it's the square of that side so we have to find this value a to find the side so a is going to be equal to root of 28 now how to find this that is equal to what is 28 you can write it as uh, 7 times 4 7 4 are 28 right again I am breaking this uh, 4 as 2 times 2 and you know according to my previous video of square root concept when uh, two twos are inside the square root box one will go out of the box so it is going to be 2 root 7 so what is one value of a now it's going to be 2 root 7 so the, this side length is going to be equal to 2 root 7 so hope you have understood about the Pythagorean theorem in this video. We will be talking about the application of this Pythagorean theorem in equilateral triangle and area of perimeter of area and perimeter of equilateral triangle in the next video. 
If you uh, find this video helpful, please subscribe to Math Easy channel and push the like button. Thanks for watching.